Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High, who the world ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly call Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jehovah, and etc. The Rukah Kodash is the Holy Spirit that is given to us from the Most High to help us comprehend this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. <clears throat> Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick one. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. And the title is, This is the Last Warning. Yes, this is the last warning. You know? Because this truth is out there. It's been out there for, for decades. Okay? It's been out there for decades. The men of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they've been... In the nukes and crannies of the cities, they've been on the highways and the byways, you know, teaching this truth, which is the greatest act of love, you know, trying to open the eyes of the sons of Israel, who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, and calling them to come back to their heritage, you know, to come back and embrace the truth, because something huge is about to go down. Something huge is really about to go down. But unfortunately, most of these people that we are actually going out to reach out for, to help them come back to their senses, you know, they call us all different names, you know. They call us different different things, fear, fear mongers, you know. They, 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 they call us conspiracy theorists. They call us negative people. And then there is no there is nothing there is nothing positive in this in this. In this, um, in this kingdom, the only positive thing that could be in this kingdom is this truth that we have, you know, which is our hope, which is the good news that, you know, we, that we are actually the least in the societies, there is hope for us, you know, we are actually the hers, we're going to, we're going to be the, the rulers of this place when all things go down. So you see, they, they can't see these things that we see. Because the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai has given them blind eyes not to see. He has sealed up their ears so they can't hear. Their spiritual capacity to perceive things is actually dead. This is an article from the RT News which quotes, World's first nationwide lockdown for the unvanessed approved. And this was uh, yesterday, okay? And it's going to start, well, it started today actually in Austria, you know? So it says, Austria will impose new curbs on the unvanessed starting from Monday. The measure aims to ease pressure on hospitals and ICUCs. The lockdown will come into effect at midnight and will apply to people aged 12 and older who have not been vanessed and have not recently recovered from 19. So there is also an article here in Italy um, in Italy that came out, you know, I just want to translate it to English. So it, could, it tells you Austria lockdown for non vanessed from midnight. 1,450 euros fine for offenders. Germany thinks of a return to smart walking. So while we out here, you know, calling our people and telling them to wake up that, you know, there is, there is something huge about to go down. You know, there is something really big about to go down. They think we're crazy. They think we're stupid. And this is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg, man. All hell is about to break loose. And you're being warned. This is the last warning. Come out and stop sipping on that Babylon juice 
which is the philosophies of this so-called white man, that these philosophies have nothing good for you. They are going to lead you to the path of death. You need to go back to your true heritage. The scriptures speak about everything. In the scriptures, you have the laws and commandments. You have everything you need to understand to go back to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. You know? The book of Ecclesiastes, is it 12, 13? It tells you, let us hear, just paraphrasing, let us hear the conclusion of the whole thing. Fear the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai and observe his commandments. This is the duty of man. It didn't tell us, you know, to fight to get our own piece of, of, um, of paradise in this kingdom that is degraded, that is run by the wicked. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places, you know, just roughly paraphrasing Ephesians 6. So, hey, you're being warned, you're being warned, you know, you can laugh now and, you know, very soon, we're actually going to be laughing at you, you know. Now, this is going to lead to the concentration camps. And this is what I actually understand about, you know, what's going on in Europe. Because you see, each head of state, talking about the Europeans, you know, also the America, Babylon the Great, they all have an assignment, you know, in this agenda. The person to leash, unleash that assignment was, um, I believe, the, the, the Prime Minister of Italy, Mario Draghi, you know. He was the first to put this, um, this um, mandate in your working places, you know, here in Italy. So here in Italy, if you don't have any relationship with Vanessa, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't walk, you know. If not, you need to get your nose bust, you know every 48 hours but now watching the news this morning they're saying speaking of you know reducing it to 24 hours in which very soon they're also going to take off that op option you know so italy started and the next step is um is austria austria italy has shown its own you know austria is taking the next step this is the assignment for the pm of austria you know, is is to put this first nationwide lockdown for the unvanessed, you know. And this is, you know, this is what they call gradualism. They take a step at a time, you know. Just like, um, is he a toad or a frog? You put him in a boiling pot. He doesn't know that the, he doesn't feel the heat, you know. He, he enjoys the heat and he keeps, you know, he keeps enjoying the heat, but not knowing that he's being boiled until it dies you know and this is exactly what they do and the next step is going to be that of you know these people right here the people that don't have relationship with vanessa they are all going to be put into those concentration concentration camps this is the next step wake the freak up man so now you that you don't have any relationship with v vanessa you know you can't come out of your places you know you'll be checked and very soon, they're going to hype this thing. Like, for, for example, here in Italy, the people that are going out there to protest, now the, the new talk is they are the ones actually, you know, making these numbers increase. <laughs> so they've turned, actually, they've turned them, they've, give, they've made them the excuse. And, you know, Esau always needs an excuse, a boogeyman, you know. So those who are going out to... to, to to um to protest they are now the new face of terrorism here in italy and now they're also speaking of um of um granting you know limited access to people in certain places you know you would need to have um a wristband and um, you'll be checked on the streets here in italy i'm speaking and what's going to lead to all this it's going to lead to concentration camps and the elder Apostle Gabbard did a lesson some days ago speaking about the Noahide laws, you know, which is in place, you know. And those who really don't accept this, these norms, these laws that they're pushing, they're going to get their heads chopped off. This is no child's play, man. You're being warned. This is the last warning. Because, you know, 
Amos 8, 11 is coming very soon. The famine of the world. And the men of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, wouldn't be able to, to speak the way they used to speak. Like now, we have everything censored up, man. If not, we get our channels taken down, you know. Very soon, we wouldn't be able to go out there to teach this truth as we used to do. So, A, you know, the door of mercy is closing, man. <laughs> the door of mercy is closing. The door is still opened. And we're inviting y'all to come in and partake of this great feast with the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, the door is still open for mercy, but this door is closing. Now, there is another article I got from our group chart, which I find some, so many things interesting. You know, it says, as Joe Biden and our woke military set America up for Annihilation, okay? All these recent stories show how quickly things are spiraling out of control as world hurdles towards World War Three, And this is something else that we are not speaking about. So much, so much distraction in the TV, you know? Well, the prophets have been teaching about this, you know, for decades, like I said. For decades, they've been they've been they've been teaching about the, the the World War Three coming, which is the Third War, which you find in the book of um, Revelation. Is it eleven? Revelation eleven. Can this is the book of Revelation eleven fourteen it says the second war is past, which is the Second World War. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. Okay, the third war comes quickly. And this third war is just right there at the corner. What they, 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 they're putting all different kinds of things, you know, to distract your attention. Telling you about some, 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 some nonsense, man. You know, bringing up some, some award shows. Um, uh, this is a nominee. Like yesterday, it's just so incredible. I was just going through the, the news on TV in Italy here and the TV actually is promoting a musician, you know, a rapper, you know, the journalists are speaking about a rapper, you know, promoting his new album. This is crazy, man. <laughs> this is crazy. So the, the, oh God, I really don't have the right words to say, but to me, it was so, I was like, damn, man. So it's the TV that actually promotes this artist now. The news outlets, they promote this artist now, you know. This is what they push into your neck. They are, it's all distraction, man. They are award shows and all these things. It's all to distract you, to blind you from what's coming, what's cooking, man. Now, check this out. It says, this is by Stefan Stanward, all news pipeline, live, free or die. So, they actually took all different news and put them together. It says, we've long been warned. That when everything was getting ready to fall apart for the NWO globalist, they would launch another global war to put everything else out of people's mind and allow them to crack down upon liberty. Even Hada has, and has Steve Kiley mentioned in an S note, SQ note, white thinking to his white linking to his recent story over at the drive titled Norwegian Under Sea Surveillance Network had its cables mysteriously, mysteriously cut. This is nothing less than a prep for WW3, World War III. This is what happens before war starts. This is serious. And you know, there are a lot of things going on in the Middle East. There are lots of things going on right now between Russia and Ukraine, Georgia and Poland, you know, all this prepping for the Third World War, man. And the Americans, the, the Babylonians, they are looking for a slight... They're looking for a slight, you know, um, opportunity to, to bring all hell down, you know. Israel the same, you know. It says, With that drive story reporting the cables that were mysteriously caught, deliberate, deliberate sabotage, were used to observe and detect submarine traffic, among other things. As that story reported, those capabilities would make it a prime target for Russia, at a time when stories are propping up all over the place, 
which aims a World War Three ahead. Okay, he says, just check out these story titles from all across the internet, many of which were recently linked to by Steve Kiley, showing us just how quickly things seem to be spinning out of control. And this is from the Daily Mail revealed. It says, White House has warned European allies to prepare for a Russian invasion of Ukraine with further border military buildup and tension over gas supplies. Man, get ready for a dark winter, man. Get ready for a dark winter because hmm, a lot is going down, man. <laughs> it says from the drive, it says, Russia deploys a smoke screen over its strategic naval base in Syria. The countermeasure would confuse sudden missiles during a conflict and obscure activities from the civilian's capabilities. From the UA wire, it says Kremlin, Putin is concerned about NATO maneuvers in the Black Sea. Russian defense ministry suggests that the United States is planning a sudden provocation and recalled the incidents with the British destroyer net the annexed Crimea. And this is what Babylon knows how to do where best, you know, provocations. You know, they want the next, they want the next um Pearl Harbor or whatever, you know, provocations in order to 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 get justification to to to, to make use of their of their warheads, you know. This is Esau. These are the devils, man. That's what they do best, you know. They live by their sword. They live by their weaponry. Even, even Russia is a family of the Edomites, you know. All these Caucasians are all devils, man. They are all devils. And the most is about to put, you know, their heads against themselves. And they're going to destroy themselves by their, the sword that they were blessed with, you know. It says from, um, from Zero Hedge. EU official calls U.S. warship near Russia calls clearly an unnecessary provocation. From the Daily Mail, East and West go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Russian paratroopers are deployed to Belarus, close to Poland border, as Britain sends soldiers to strengthen Polish defenses after White House warned Putin could invade Ukraine imminently. From Reuters, West at risk of conflict with Russia. Britain's army chief says, from the national interest, NATO harms sales to Ukraine, the spark that starts a war with Russia. And it says, sounds to you like war is in the end for the globalists and against their favorite, their favorite boogeyman, Russia. Another story stiff linked to on Friday tells us why we should never ever believe what the globalists are telling us and this we've always known man we should only believe in what the most high yahweh Hashem Shai tells us you know in other words you know all these prophecies are you know coming to play you know a step at a time you know now that austria has launched this the rest of europe are going to embrace this system as well this system that Aust austria has actually launched out the rest of Europe, they're going to embrace it. Even Babylon the Great is going to embrace it. And this is going to bring to pass the, what do you call it? The, the Noahide laws, you know, chopping off, you know, the heads of those who don't, who refuse, you know. And many of the saints are going to be part of this number, you know. We just pray the Most High gives us the spirit to be able to stand whatever comes our way. Because in every situation, any temptation we'll find ourselves, any trial that we'll find ourselves, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai always makes a way for us to overcome. Now let's get some scriptures. This is the book of Second Esdras, also known as the fourth book of Second Esdras, and it quotes. This is chapter fifteen. I'm going to read from. From verse 14, which quotes, says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Destruction to the world and them that dwell therein, you know. And this world means those who have refused the truth. Or those who are living, you know, sipping, sipping the, the breast of Babylon, you know. Sipping the juice of Babylon. Or those who have refused the truth for all these years that they've been taught about the truth, you know. Woe to all of you, man. Woe to those who are calling upon the false Jesus, 
you know, calling on, on Jehovah, calling on whatever, calling on every other thing except the true name, which is true name is Yahweh Shai. What to those who are worshipping their, their idols or whatever, those who are seeking positions in this, in this kingdom, to those who are actually looking for whatever, I don't know, following dreams, you know, trying to become whatever in this kingdom. Woe to all of you, you know, destruction is coming. Because those who have this truth, who fear the most I yah, Bashem Shai, who walks in his laws, you know, who try their best, you know, to walk in his laws and do as he wills, you know, and do the work, going out to teach this truth, you know, we are promised protection. Though we know some of us are going to be locked in prisons and some of us will actually have our heads chopped out, you know. But all to the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. There is a scripture that says, you know, beautiful is the death of, of the saints in his eyes, you know. So we know in whichever situation we find ourselves, the Most High Yahweh Yahweh Shai will be with us until, until the last microsecond, you know. He will give us the spirit to be able to stand whatever that comes our ways. But those who don't have this truth, you know, whoa, destruction unto you. It says in verse 15, For the sword and their destruction draw at night, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and sword in their hands, swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the cause of their actions shall stand in their power. And now we know there is a lot really going on. There is a lot really going on amongst um, these different groups. Like I said, in Italy, those who are going out to protest, you know, they're actually creating all different groups. You know, they've been showing them and they, they portraying them as, um, what do you call it, terrorists. These people are going to stand, you know, and fight against the government. And it's going to cause all destruction, man. It's going to... It's, man, it's going to be disastrous very soon, man. Just like the book of... um. Excuse me. It's like the book of um, Daniel 12. It says a time like never before, you know. It says, and at that time shall Mikahala stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, Everyone that shall be found written in the book, just like I said, those who are going to be found written in the book who are the elect and the one third of the house of Israel, those those are going to be um those are going to be you know saved, you know. But the rest, destruction is coming upon them. Now going back to where we left. Verse 16 says, But there shall be, no, 6, 17, it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. We already saw this coming when they started the, the, the first lockdowns, but are you seeing what's going on right here? You know? Like, for example, here in Italy now, I, I can't travel to certain places that I wish to travel if I don't have my own car. You know? And very soon they're putting these um, restrictions in a way that you can't even travel. If you are, if you if you don't have any relationship with Vanessa, you say for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The spoils their good, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And hey, <laughs> a lot of things are really happening that we're just forgetting certain things. Uh, we've actually forgotten about the the sheep that are that are still yet to to um to um, unload their goods. The food shortages, such shortages, and um, energy shortage, and many other things. You know, lots are really happening that we can't even keep up with everything, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyway, you know, you can keep reading. Even 
there are also more precepts you know from the previous chapter which are so, just some words of encouragement from 14 it says this is um the book of second Ezra, chapter 14 verse 14 it says let go from you the mortal thoughts cast away the burdens of man put off now the weak nature are you doing that so those who are actually holding strong to certain things in this kingdom, those who are holding strong to properties, to positions in the society, to careers, all these are going to be a stumbling block for you. All these are going to be a snare for you. Because we are told to, 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 to cast away the burdens of man, you know, and forget our mortal thoughts, leave our mortal thoughts. Yahweh Shai said, think not what you shall eat tomorrow. The Most High is going to provide for you. When it comes to the, to the moment in which you need to say, hell, hell no to that dumb job, you know, find the courage to do so because the Most High Yahweh Shai is, is, is going to feed you, is going to protect you. You know, this is what faith is actually there for. If you're not putting this faith into work, you know, then it makes no sense. You know, it says faith, faith without work makes no sense. Just paraphrasing, you know, faith without work is nothing, man. Verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evil than those which thou hast seen shall happen, um, which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. We've seen all different evils, talking about the First World War, Second World War, different genocides and different things, you know. All those are going to be child's play to what's about to come. What's about to come is going to make the First World War, the Second World War, and the rest of all the atrocities that have happened, they're going to make them look like comedies. Hey, you're being warned and this is the last warning. The days are coming in which you will seek this truth and you would not find them anymore. The days are coming in which you will see all these things happening. And the first thing that will come to your mind was, oh, they taught me about this, they told me about this. You don't want to find yourself in that situation. The door of mercy is still opened. So seek the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai while he still, he still might be found. Like the book of um, Isaiah is it 33 says, you know. Seek the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai while he still can be found. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rukah Kodash Shalom.